What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I made a new video, but we're gonna break down the lighting, the shots, the whole setup in my new commercial that you just saw. Let's just dive straight into it. We'll first start off with how uh, the lighting looked. Basically, I'm using two lights here, one top down and one backlight. For the top down shot, I am using a Godox SL150 with a rectangular softbox attached to it. And then for the backlight, I'm using the Godox VL150. And on that light, I had barn doors on it. And I closed it down pretty tight um, just so that only a slip of light would hit the three bottles. For the background, I had a black backdrop from Savage. For a darker theme like this one, you want the backdrop to actually be much further behind your lights. If you're trying to go for that really nice, dark, seamless backdrop, then you don't want the light to be hitting the background at all. For some of the close-up shots, we did end up bringing in a reflector just so that we can fill up some of the shadows and read the labels a little bit more clearer. But that's the lighting part. It's all really simple and relatively easy to recreate on your own. But now let's dive straight into the video itself. So here we have the three bottles neatly organized on the table. This was shot on the Canon C200 with the Tamron 24 to 70 zoom lens. And here we have it mounted on a GVM slider. And we're just basically doing a push in. And on the side of the frame, you'll see that we have a couple plants. These are fake olive plants that we found on Amazon. Really cheap. Um, but it just kind of like decorates the set a little bit more. And we have it sort of like surrounding the edge of the frame so that when we push in, the leaves kind of go out of focus. It just creates a lot of depth to the shot. And we push in and we go on to the next shot, which are the three consecutive close-up shots of the bottles. The client wanted us to focus on the three different flavors of their olive oil. And they wanted us to have really clear shots of their label. So we have basil, lemon, and garlic. We had the camera on the slider and we just basically just had the slider running the entire time back and forth. And we get that movement so that the shot isn't super boring. So on the left side, we see the close-ups of the bottle. And then on the right side, we have ingredients falling and then combining with the olive oil. And for that, we were pouring olive oil and then throwing the ingredients down into a big pot. So we shot that on 120 frames per second. That's the highest that the Canon C200 shoots at for slow motion. And it was tricky because it doesn't do autofocus. So we had to set the focus first and then dump the oil and the basil or the garlic and hope that everything was in focus. We had to do it a couple of times and nail the focus and make sure that most of the ingredients and most of the stuff was actually in focus. For this next shot of the olive oil pouring out of the bottle, I actually have a behind the scenes clip of when we actually shot it. So I'm gonna throw it to Alex from the past and he'll explain it to you guys. What I just did right now was close down the f-stop. So more of it is gonna be uh, in focus, more of the shot's gonna be in focus because it's really hard to pour and like hold this thing still. Right, so I wanna get as much as possible in focus. So uh, I stopped it down to F5.6 and I bumped up the ISO um, to compensate for the loss of light as you close down the aperture. Um, and hopefully that will help me nail focus a little bit better. Now this next shot right here is one of my favorite shots of the entire commercial. In this shot, we had the bottle spinning around on a Lazy Susan with the dish right behind the bottle out of focus. Okay, so we just got the shot of the bottle on the Lazy Susan. We're moving it around, so it's not so boring. But now we want to try it out, uh, something different. We're gonna move the light in addition to having the bottle on top of the Lazy Susan. And what I'm doing here is spinning the light so we get this really cool light to dark to light to dark effect. And I'm timing the spinning of the light so that it perfectly happens when the We Olive logo appears on the bottle. So we had to wait for the right moment in order to start spinning the light. And then when the We Olive logo was fully in front of the camera, that's when I would slow down the spinning of the light a little bit so that the light stays on the logo a little bit longer. And when the logo spins away, that's when the light goes away too. And then the last shot is a very similar hero shot to the first one. But in this one, we just had a little bit more ingredients just to make it look visually different. In this one, we shot it at the same time as the first shot. We just shot it back to back since we had the camera on the slider already. So after we were done with the first shot, we put all the other ingredients in the frame and then we ran the slider again. That saves time and it's really easy. And that's pretty much the whole setup to this really, really simple and easy commercial that you guys can make at home as well. It's not really complicated. There wasn't too much like special effects going on in the video when we shooting it either. So I hope that gives you some ideas for your next product video. If you like this video, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell to get notified of every video that I post. Until the next one, my name is Alex Chung and I'll see you later. Bye.